So you've seen the, the progression of this Illinois team. What's what are your thoughts? The first thing that that I again old school with me. It's it's inside out. You you if you're trying to be at the highest level teams with no post play, I, I just don't think it's going to happen. Not in the Big Ten. Now, you might be able to do it outside of the Big Ten, but in the Big Ten, you got to have somebody that can score inside. And that was something I think we were missing for years. Uh, we had post players, but I didn't think we had post players that could finish. Uh, and, and what Underwood was starting to do, as, as I noticed, he was starting to bring in some guys that could potentially – excuse me, score in the post. Got to have good guard play, of course. I'm never going to say you, you don't need that. But you got to have some inside presence. Uh, and that's where we start. I think we started to turn that corner. Mm -hmm. With inside presence, now you got that inside-outside game. And he already, um, one of my good friends, Clint Ford, who played for Underwood at Western Illinois when he was there, he told me back then when he first got the job, he said, T, watch, he gonna get this thing turned around because he's going to find somebody that can score in the post. And I said, and Clint was a post player. He said, man, he worked with me, helped me develop my footwork, all of these things. He said, he's gonna get a post and when he gets them, they gonna develop and you'll see. And I said, all right, Clint, I'm in. I just need to see it. I, I'm not gonna go it somewhere else. I'm I'm with Illinois all the way. I just need to see that. He said, I'm just telling you, it'll come. And when it when you get one, when you get a good post player, you will see that development. And Kofi shows up, Georgie shows up, and I'm sitting there looking. I said, dude, he was right. Because the footwork was there, the post play was there, and now you start having that that yin and yang, the inside outside, and you know right now you got the culmination of someone like Trent Frazier who comes and stays and puts all that work in, and Demonte that puts all that work in. Uh, quick story, Demonte, open gyms, he is here in Peoria, making all of these shots. I mean, he's making shots from everywhere. And I'm saying, Demonte, why don't you shoot in the games? He says, Coach don't want me to shoot. I don't think he liked me. I said, Demonte, I'm going to help you with something. I said, I'm a coach. And I'm, I'm going to say this. If you can make shots, why would he not have you in the game? Son, don't give me that. If you can make shots, go make shots. And every time he's made big shots today, I've texted him. Another big shot, son. Keep it up. And so... Those little things that I think uh, Underwood has shown and put that confidence in those guys has put them over the top. And, and they are doing, and I, I love everything. I mean, I'm watching the Michigan game. I know we were all texting during the Michigan game. We were texting during um, the Ohio State game. We, we fans, I ain't going to lie, I, I, I love watching Illinois. And when they really balling out, I can't, I, I can't wait to say something to anybody who is an Ohio State or Michigan fan. <laughs> we getting it done right now. Y'all just got to wait your turn. Uh, exactly. You got to enjoy it. You got Io. I, I remember his first couple of years, the first year after. And I was like, oh, he's getting to the basket, but doesn't have a jump shot. Okay, he's got a jump shot, but he can't go left. Everything that you say, somehow I know he gets it and he figures it out. And now you got a kid that I believe is first round, top eleven draft choice, in my opinion. In my, my opinion, opinion is well. I share that same opinion with you, brother. I mean, but you touched on somebody, and I don't. He he gets the love, but I don't think he gets it as, as he should. You know, kind of as I described to you, Trent Frazier, man. Trent, Trent coming, doing what he did. Well, let's say that he's coming, coaching change, doing what he does his freshman year, changing his role completely to what exactly. they needed him to do on the defensive end. And now, as you mentioned, you see the culmination and not and Trent as well as DeMonte, and you see that personal growth. Can you just touch on how one, how difficult that that is? And two, because you did a lot of that same thing. I mean, you were, you, you you played the two in, in high school, what well, kind of a mm -hmm. combo position, and then you were thrust after, you know, Bruce and them departure to be a point guard. That's a lot of changing that goes along in there. 
a lot of changing, but when you have buy-in and you have some success, the, the key to all of that is some success because if there's no success, it's harder for young men to buy into something. But I saw Trent, I think he bought in from the beginning and he kept to the grindstone. And I, I can tell you as a coach, you always preaching about what what it's going to be at the end of the rainbow. But there, there's a lot of hard work to get there. And you got to keep chopping at that wood. You got to keep going and keep pushing. And and again, you you you'll have fun at the end of the 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 process. Uh, and sometimes it's fun just going through the process. Some kids don't like that. And you you can tell through all of that with ups and downs that Illinois had during this process. Demonte and and Trent never afraid. Uh, I, I include in this group that we're talked about Georgie yeah. starter to coming off the bench, but when he's in the game, the most excited person on the floor yeah. and that energy and that electricity that he brings, you, you, you don't have anybody down the Ohio state game, even though he was getting scored upon, he still was doing his best I'm here for you. You know, you can look at him and tell. I'm here for you guys. Come on, let's go. Let's do whatever we can to to pull this out. And he was involved even when he went out of the game. And one of the things I love about the bench, they involved the whole time. I tell my guys, y'all need to take a look. It doesn't make a difference if the end of the game or not. That bench is involved. And I, I enjoy that fact because my guys have taken that up now. They have taken, you coach, I see what you're talking about. No matter what, we're going to be involved. And I said, okay, that's buy-in. Got to have the buy-in. I think that's important. 